Well, this is another day of a uh, house building in the Philippines. What can I say? Um, we bought a one improvement. We got a new mattress on the bed here. Uh, we got lots of activity going on. Let me show you some of the things, a little update. Now with the bed, it's interesting enough, I have to find an old video to show. The wood, the frame for the bed was made out of a big old tree we had in the yard. I think it's called a Camachelli tree, I probably say it wrong. So we had some furniture made out of that tree, a bed, some tables, chairs. Only problem with the thing was the bed was very low. And um, which the guy didn't follow my wife's instructions because somebody intervened. You know, we make everything a little bit different here in this house is bigger. All the bathrooms and stuff is bigger than your average Filipino style with higher doors, higher ceilings. And someone thought they were doing a good thing by, tell, by making this statement, nobody builds a bed that high. <clears throat> and the guy built it in very low to the ground in the Filipino tradition, which the wood frame is very pretty. We bought a new mattress. We were using that. <clears throat> we pieced together some stuff just to have a place to stay. And we bought, we had this mattress made, very nice and comfortable. But now it's so high up, it doesn't show a lot of the headboard. But <clears throat> things happen, just like this room. This room, of course, we're not here. And this room was supposed to be the exact same as the room downstairs but minus the walk-in closet, which would have been over there. But it's supposed to have a balcony on it to match the size of the terrace downstairs. But as they were going along, they decided that they were gonna only make this little thing. But can't do, can't change it. So, so they kind of changed a few things the way we wanted it, but that's the problem when you're not here. But anyway, we had some curtains put up. Some being put up on that window there and there. So we're getting some improvements. The trim all along the wall is done. They're, they're hanging up some towel racks in the bathroom. Um, putting in that hot water heater. Let me see if I can get some lights on in here. So, it truly is a work in progress. You got to get a curtain rod put up there. But it's coming along. We're just trying to do as much as we can before we leave. I have to go back to Germany. So we go outside here. Let me turn off the camera light. So lots of and there's the she's my wife is very busy. This is not much of a vacation. <clears throat> she's, she's got all the workers here, including Trying to fix a few things. But it's getting there. Oh, yeah. Things are slowly getting done. We want some corrections made to the stairs. In particular, maybe some rods put along 
here where the glass is a little more stable. It's a lot of kids here, so we're worried about them bumping into the glass, which is strong. Just so it don't break. So that's the big discussion. Yes. So a lot of work yet to be done. <clears throat> but here in the corner, it's the furniture we had made out of that tree. Very nice. All that came from one, one big tree. Really solid. That's what we were going to set out on our uh, little balcony, but that's not gonna work. But we do have a bigger balcony on the other side of the house that we could put it all out on. And out here you can see Tons of trash we have to get picked up, cleaned up, but that's a ways down the road. That's not the biggest problem yet. Our biggest problem is still going to be the neighbors. We're trying to get a meeting with them to ask about when do you plan on leaving? So we just walk out to the street, turn here to get another view. So that's how it looks. And the temperature here, it's, it's 90 degrees every day with a low of about 70. So high of 90, 90-ish, and a low of 70. So very hot in the daytime. And there's my beautiful bride up there. She is, it's a working vacation for us. Not really a time to just party. We're trying to get as much as much done as we can before we have to leave. So it's a lot of work in progress going on here. and tackle the yard, the house. Not sure when the guy's coming by to start on the railing up here, but I would be happy. Of course, we still got the roof to finish up the ceiling. I flew the drone up to look on top of it. Still need to complete that project and seal up the roof. I bought a rake to try to get up some trash around here, but it is so hot during the daytime that uh, I can't do it. Oops, bumping my camera. Because I have to be careful that I don't get heat exhaustion. I'm not used to the heat like the Filipinos are. me walk in the shade so that's a another view of the house because over here in this side where the cameras facing here a lot of trash over time blown up from kids and stuff normally I'll be out here cleaning it up but the heat kind of drains me. So, try to get up some of the litter, use masks, 
everything. And of course, our lovely neighbors don't help either with the trash and the dogs and the chicken. But this is right here is the down. Oops, bump the camera off. Let me. All right, it's the downstairs bedroom. It's got a little terrace. This bedroom right above it is where we're at right now. It should have been built the same way. But they changed it and made this little tiny balcony you see right up there. Like a doorway. Doesn't look like that. Of course, we still got steps that come in. We want to build a nice wall fence from where that property is over there, all the way down here, up to a few feet from the road. We need that house to be gone because it's on our property. Relatives, you know. And the reason they're there this lot stayed vacant for a long time. So like in the Philippines, folks just move in. Of course, they've said all kind of promises that they were gonna move when we start building. Well, we started building still there. Now they say they will move when we start building the fence. So, me being a foreigner, and with the job that I do, working for the military, I like clear, concise communication. So I told my wife, we need to talk to them. I don't like the wait and see philosophy that people do here. And folks assume everyone else knows what everyone else is talking about. That's always a mistake, that assumption. I ain't trying to be the ugly, bad foreigner, but we just want our privacy. We worked a lot, we worked hard. My wife pulled a lot of money into this, and so did I. And we're still putting money into this to complete it. But it's getting there. We just want it to look nice. We have a tremendous amount of work to do before we can probably sit back and relax. Ooh, it is hot here, people. Like I say, just walking around, it was draining you. I'd like to do a walk around the village, but it's just so hot. See that? blue sky. Yesterday I thought it would rain because it was cloudy from dark skies, but it didn't. So that's an update on building our house. We did grill some steak and chicken last night on the old grill, which is still working very good. And so we don't have a lot of plans for today because the house is dictating everything. So we were planning on traveling, but it's other things we have to take care of here that are more important because we're leaving on the 24th, so we have to do all we can with the time that we have and spend some quality time with the kids and the family. So that's what we're trying to do. Um, we may go to a little resort here by the weekend. You know, so the grandbaby's supposed to come over. Don't know how that's gonna work with all the workers we have, everything going on. My wife wouldn't even have time to enjoy the grandkids. I don't know, because she's doing a tremendous amount of work. All this here is mostly her design, her dream. I'm only stepping in a little bit with things I don't like, and I, I let them know real quick 
you know, have to get on the workers, give them a few little instructions, let them know that we're not paying them for nothing. The guy that was doing the stairs, he screwed up some things that he needs to change. So he's up there. We're trying to get him to see the errors of his ways because it deals with safety. Some of the bars, some of the support bars are very far apart. So if you have glass coming all the way down, those that are very wide apart, that'll really weaken that. Maybe put some metal supports across the glass or something. And one, one kind of corner turn he did looks really bad. It's off center. It's not even lined up with the rest of the little support beams or columns going down. So trying to make him fix that. And some other things that he was supposed to do that he didn't do. So it's typical. You pay people for good work and they just don't do it. And we're trying to have some air conditioning installed because there is none. So we got a really big unit. Which we're gonna, I want to put it in the living room because it's a huge unit. Don't want to install something like that in the bedroom. You know, it'd be like the North Pole in there. But we have a smaller unit. And we're gonna put them in different places in the house to cool this bad boy down because it's warm inside very warm well we're trying to get in touch with the guy for the air conditioning to come to do that or see when he can come and install the air conditioning at least in our bedroom so that's an update on the house I don't know what today is I never know I could look at my trusty phone to see Today is, I think it's the 10th, it is, just bear with me, Wednesday, didn't even know that. I'm still kind of lost in days here, on what day it is. Okay, today is the 9th of March. So we still have two full weeks to go. That's good. Time's gonna come up fast. We'll be getting on that plane for that long flight back. So, this is Cullen signing off for my life. My travels, my adventures, so please come back. Thank you, bye-bye.